let's talk about the World War I and World War II Victory Gardens. These were established in the United States, Canada, Australia, including Germany and the UK. This was to help out and make sure that the commercial crops were there for the soldiers. These were used alongside of the rationing stamps and cards to relieve the public supply. This not only helped with morale, but it also boosted the food supply. Everyone was proud to do their part and help the war effort. Roughly half of Americans had Victory Gardens in World War II. There were nearly 20 million Victory Gardens covering nearly 20 million acres in 1943. Imagine that 40% of the American produce in 1944 came from Victory Gardens. That made 8 million tons of produce that were made by American families by the end of the war. So you may ask, what do they have in these gardens? Beets, beans, kohlrabi, peas, cabbage, kale, turnips, lettuce, spinach, garlic, Swiss chard, parsnips, carrots, onions, and herbs. So why don't you take the chance and maybe this spring grow a victory garden.